Hey, I'm Mike, and you are watching the Logan and the Hobo RV Adventure Channel. Today, I want to talk about washing and waxing my trailer. First, let's talk about why it's important to wash and wax the trailer. You want to wash the trailer to keep it looking good, keep the dirt off, keep the finish looking nice. And you want to wax the trailer to provide a protective finish, to protect it from uh, the sun's UV rays, from oxidation, from any kind of weather damage, anything like that. Washing and waxing the trailer is always a fairly lengthy process. My trailer is uh, 28 actual feet long, and it took me about three and a half, maybe four hours to do the roof and the body of the trailer. I want to talk about the products I use for washing and waxing the trailer. I use Meguiar's products. I use Meguiar's Ultimate Wash and Wax. Uh, it does a good job getting the trailer clean, and it also leaves a nice coat of wax on there. This side that I'm working on here sits in the sun most of the day. It's the full sun side, and so I also use Meguiar spray on wax to give it another coat of protection. You can see there's a fair bit of oxidation on this decal. This decal is on the full sun side of the trailer, and it's the only decal that looks like this. Uh, the rest of the trailer looks good, no other big oxidation spots, and I'm not sure why that's just that one decal, but you can see the decal below it still looks good. Another product that I've heard really good things about and I've had good results with is 303 Aerospace Protectant. This is the first time I'm going to be using it on the sides of the trailer and I'm going to spray it on the sides that get full sun. The trick to it is you spray small areas and wipe it up right away. Here's the finished product on the nose cap washed, waxed, spray waxed, and then 303 Aerospace Protectant. Looks pretty good. My trailer is three years old. I've had it for three full seasons and it's been sitting out here in the sun all three of those years. Speaking of the sun, man, it's hot out here. Like I mentioned earlier, I've had the trailer for three full seasons and I don't keep it covered or anything. And we travel fairly frequently, usually about once a month or a little bit more. The rest of the time it's parked out here. It still looks like it's in pretty good shape. Uh, the finish still looks really good. I'm happy with it. You may have noticed that I don't use any paste style wax on the trailer. And the reason is I feel like it'd be a big hassle to get it in and out of all the grooves. see a little bit of the finished product here it looks pretty good another thing you want to do when you're washing the trailer is you want to check for any seals that might have failed or might be cracking you can see here on the utility shower box the beta silicone or whatever sealant they used has cracked and it's a pretty big hole that's going to start taking on water this is the kind of thing that if it goes unnoticed it's going to slowly get let water in and it's going to cause quite a bit of damage before you notice it on the inside Another thing I look for is screws that are backing out. I don't know if you can really tell from the video angle there, but uh, that screw is backed out quite a bit, so we'll go ahead and tighten that up. So what you don't want to do when you're washing your trailer is set a regular ladder up against the aluminum siding of the trailer because it will dent very easy, as you can see here. Mistake I made the first time I washed it. I've got a couple of these marks on both sides of the trailer. Not super noticeable, so you know it's not a huge deal, but uh, I was not happy when it happened. Well, I guess that about wraps it up for this episode of the Logan and the Hobo RV Adventure Channel Show. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe and leave a comment below.